Welcome to UE5 Master Material Creation Tutorial Course. And in this course, you will learn everything you need to know to begin creating and using Unreal Engine 5 standard material editor for environments and for props. So if you are an environment artist, a level designer, a game developer, or simply using UE5 to create your worlds with, you need to know how to create and use the material editor. And materials is what you apply onto your environments, onto props in UE5. This is what you see when you play the game you see the materials. So if you want a brick wall to look like a brick wall, then you need to create a material for it. And that applies to props as well. If you want a wooden crate to look like wood, then you need to create a material for it and then apply it to that prop, to that static mesh. And everything you see in your environment will have to have a material applied onto it. Now, when it comes to creating materials in UE5, you will need a lot of different controls to set those materials up. You'll need to know how to set up texture tiling, how to set up texture offset, as well as texture rotate. You'll need to know how to control your normal map intensity so you can increase the depth of your normal map or sometimes decrease it. You'll have to set up controls for your roughness so you can adjust how rough or dull and how shiny or reflective your material is, the surface of your material. An important property that every single material must have. You'll need to set up color adjustments controls so this way you can change color of your material either for the entire material or for certain parts of it. You'll need to know how to brighten or darken, to saturate or saturate a texture. You'll also need to know how to blend between textures using a linear interpolate node. This is where you can take two different textures and blend between the two using a mask and you'll need to know how to do that and how to set that up. Very common way of introducing metal and non-metal for example on the same static mesh and within the same material. You'll also need to know how to set up static switch parameters, which is ability to turn on and off parts of your material graph. And this will allow you to create a much more flexible and versatile material. You'll also need to know how to create opacity and the difference between opacity mask and opacity as two of the inputs available inside the material editor. So this will allow you to create things like glass or masked textures where parts of it will be visible and other parts will be invisible. You'll also need to know how to create emissive materials, the ones that can glow and emit light. You'll need to know how to create decals, very common way to add detail to your walls, to your ground. And overall, you need to know how to create a master material which can be controlled through a single material with many other adjustments being done inside the material editor graph. And then you need to propagate this through a material instance so you can create different variations of your master material and adjust many of the properties that I just told you. And you need to know how to create these versatile, flexible materials across your environment assets as well as prop assets. And it's something you're going to be doing over and over and over again, and you need to know how to set all of this up. So in UE5 Master Material Creation, I tell you how to do so. And we focus on using the standard material editor, not Substrate. This specific tutorial course is all about using the standard material editor that's been around for years and it has been proven to work. And I will show you how to use the material editor and set everything up. So UE5 Master Material Creation Tutorial Course is available right now for you to pick up. It is over 5 hours and spans across 26 videos. And it's available for you to download, watch, learn, create right now.